Netflix dropped a limited series this week called Anthracite. I knew it was a mystery, but I didn't know what to expect or whether it would be any good. So let's talk about it. An old case is wrenched open when a reporter goes missing, leading his web sluice daughter to a small mountain town haunted by a sec secrecy and death. So depending on the TV series or movie, how I do my reviews is sometimes I break it down into like genre or like editing performances, that kind of thing. I'm just going to go as it flows today because I feel like for this one, it kind of needs that. That. Anthracite is an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a what the heck? <laughs> I love a series or a movie that can stump me. Like you think you can guess what's happening in the storyline. And then when it does something different or you guess something, but then again, it changes it up. I was so impressed with how many times it goes, oh yeah, you did guess it, congratulations. And then it evolved more. It's a really tense story. And at the heart of it, you have this town that has had a bad history of a, you know, one of those cults that get people to do stupid things. And then we unravel that, but in amongst that, there's more mysteries. So we follow one very eccentric, interesting young lady that is very much She's lived in a bunker and she's an internet type and she has a sleuth team that love to investigate things that need to be investigated. And basically they come together on a community board on the internet and they are detectors, but online. And they're able to basically do incredible things just by gathering information from all threads, looking at photos, you know, really piecing it together, a detective piece, you know, a, a case. And so we have the young lady here who is trying to piece together what her father was into and why. And when we get our character explaining to another character, when somebody asks her, how did you find that out? How do you know that about me? We have this fast paced cutting that shows like pictures of how she did it and what paths that led to it. And she's explaining it over with like a narrative and it's brilliantly done. It really adds a level to the storytelling that could be really slow the way they could have done it. A lot of other TV series kind of go, oh, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they, they either do a, a massive exposition. This is exposition, but done in a visual way with a narrative. And it makes it really interesting. And I think really connects to her character because the character is quite out there. She She's in her mind a lot. She doesn't know really how to interact with other people. She has very little human skills. She would just blurt out inappropriate things. A sort of very childlike thing to do. You know that, that age from about five to eight where kids, you know, will say the worst things or the thing that everybody else is thinking but it's not socially acceptable to say. She says that. Then we have another protagonist who is just trying to get to be able to see his daughter, but because of his past, he's not allowed to. So he's found himself in this town as well, working, trying to keep his head down, and he gets thrust into this world, or rather kidnapped into this world. And that's where we follow the storyline, you know, them investigating this cult because it connects to them in a really real way. And so as people start dying or more mysteries start unfolding, our two main protagonists are connected in a way that uh, I don't think you'll see coming. And then little bits of showcasing how horrific the cult was or how horrific the interactions were with what has gone in the past and still going on. It reminded me a little bit of Dark in the mystery and the complexity of it. There's even a cave. It's not nearly as good as Dark, but it was a one-time watch, really enjoyable ride because the performances are interesting the dialogue is on point and then the cinematography is crazy beautiful because of its location beautiful snow-capped mountains in the background with stark nastiness happening happening on screen so you have that like weird juxtaposition like, oh that's so pretty or oh my gosh that person is dead or look what they did or you know a, a new piece of information will come to light about the cult or how it's connected to the wider storyline. And that for me really worked because the journey that we go on, a lot of driving, a lot of uh, A to B meeting characters that were once involved in the, in the cult, meeting family members that know something about what happened when, and as we get towards those latter few episodes, they really start 
ramping up that intensity. So that drive that the story's been building up, the mystery as we start getting those answers, I think works so well because the editing is done perfectly. The pacing is great. The atmosphere in amongst that beautiful cinematic looking landscape just adds another level of, yeah, this is really fun. So I'm gonna give this four Nicolas Cages out of five. <laughs> you got one. I don't really wanna sit here and talk about the individual episodes or the characters and what their motivations were because this is a mystery that you need to unravel yourself. The enjoyment comes from guessing, thinking you know where it's going and then going, oh crap, that, that's not where I thought it was going. So for me, it, 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 it was a fun watch because I didn't guess where it was going. Let me know your thoughts and feelings about Anthracite. Did you know about it? Have you heard of it? Are you gonna check it out? Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.